What was supposed to be a fun weekend turned out to be a nightmare for Shelby and her boyfriend, Dakota. You see, Dakota dropped their two-year-old daughter off with a babysitter so they could go out. But when Shelby picked her daughter back up, she noticed bruising on her body. She took the child to the hospital and further examination revealed that one of the toddler's ribs was fractured. Since that discovery, the child was removed from their care and Shelby and Dakota have both become suspects in the abuse of their young daughter. He is absolutely right. We have been heartbroken over this. We've been, we trusted CPS going to them and going to the police. That's the first place that I went was to the police. And I trusted that they were going to find out who did this and they didn't yet and they're accusing us. Tell me about the day your daughter was dropped off. That was March 3rd, Dakota dropped her off. I asked her if she would babysit over the weekend because him and I wanted to go out. We haven't had like our own weekend since she's been born. So I just asked her if she would take her for the weekend and how much she'd charge and she said, yeah. Okay. And when you pick her up, what happened? I, well, first on Saturday, she texted me a picture of that scratch on her face and said that That's happened. a pretty bad scratch yeah, too, right? Um, but she had a cat, so I was like, maybe <laughs> something happened with the cat. You know, I have grew up around cats. I've been scratched everywhere on my body by a cat. So I didn't think really much of it. I just made sure, I said, is she okay? Is she acting different? Anything like that? She's like, no, she's fine. It's just a scratch. But when I got there for the, um, to pick her up, she had bruises on both of her ears, on her head, behind her ears, on the back of her ears. And did you ask the babysitter? Absolutely. <laughs> what did she say? Um, she said, I have no idea where that came from. I didn't even notice that. How did you find out that your daughter had a fractured rib? The hospital told me. Uh, did the doctor give his opinion on how the rib broke or fractured? No, he, he said that it, it was probably child abuse. As, well, oh, as, he, the, yeah, as so, well as the bruises. Right, so he feels that somebody abused your Correct. daughter. Correct. Any chance you did it? Absolutely not. Any chance Dakota did it? Absolutely not. Who do you think did it? The babysitter, or she is protecting somebody that did do it. How does your family feel about Dakota? Shh, they don't like him at all. Why? Um, just because he's how, how he's treated me, our whole relationship. How's he treated you? Cheating on me, manipulation, narcissism, uh, controlling. I, do you see this in him too? Yeah, I do. What? <laughs> Why do you stay with him? I have yeah. left him since he refused to come on this show. Because at first he did not want to come here. When the producer called me, he's like, who are you talking to? I said, Steve Wilco's show. Like, I called them or emailed them last night. And he's like, I'm not going on Steve Wilco's show. I'm not taking a lie detector test. And right then and there, I left the house, went to my sister's, and have not been over at the house since. Was he mad at you for that? Uh, I think he was a little mad, but he respected it. Okay. What do you have to do to get your daughter back? Prove that we didn't do this. And that's why you're here. Both yeah. of you took the test. All right, well, let's meet Dakota. You love your daughter a lot. Absolutely. Why don't you treat the mom the same way? <laughs> you, heard, you heard what she said. Just yeah, before. I heard what she said, but I'm here, I'm here about my daughter, not our relationship. Did you not want Shelby to go to the hospital right away? I couldn't really tell from the pictures. So I did say I'm going to the hospital or the, or the police. And he so said what? He said, bring her home and let me see her. And then when I got there, he's like, well, no, we don't need to go there. Yeah. That you don't need to go to the hospital? And I said, no, we're going there. Why did you say you don't, you don't need to go to the hospital? Because I was in shock. I didn't think Come on, that this man. could happen to me. Come on, break. You were in shock. Shock of what? Shock of what? That someone could hurt my daughter. What do you mean? This is not an well, everyday well, thing. Well, I'm not saying if somebody hit my child, I'm not going to go into shock. I'm going to say, yeah, let's go to the hospital. Right, but I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> I, I got news for you. If you're going to go in shock every time your child gets hurt, you're going to be a bad father. Yeah, that's one thing I never have been and never will be. Well, but I'm saying, that's how, Facts, what, uh, you period. know, uh, all... fortitude you have. You're going to go in shock every time you child shock? No, I would just couldn't you believe just it. You just said you went into shock. OK, listen to me. Can I talk? Are you I gonna am interrupt? Are you going to interrupt me every single time I talk? Oh, am I interrupting Are you? Are you? I'm asking you I'm asking question. you to tell me what the hell happened. I'm trying to tell you what happened. OK, tell me. OK. She picked her up, noticed the bruising. She brought it to me. I checked it out. We went to the police station. This is why people don't go to CPS. But because you didn't. She wanted to take her to the hospital, and you said no. We went to the police station. Okay, uh, so again, I, I, you know, 
I don't get that. I understand you want to find out what happened, yes. but if the child needs medical attention, don't you go to the hospital and then call the police? We went to the police station first. I, to ask what I we understand did. Okay, that's and what I'm we did. asking you why you didn't do it the other way. I don't know. That's just what we did. Okay. I can answer that. Would you rather not have um, anywhere? I just figured the police would be able to tell me more where to go. Like I know. Do you need to be told to get medical attention at a hospital? No. Okay. I just like the. I thought the police would be able to tell me See, where. See, this I'm is how kids get. Right? Yeah. Because adults don't make common sense decisions for their children. Right. You I try to I talk to the, the right babysitter? Huh? You? Did you try to talk to the babysitter? No, I have not tried to talk to the babysitter. I mean, we have all the, the proof that the babysitter did. It pictures of the proof. The, the babysitter literally admits that it happened to her house. She just doesn't know what happened. Uh, let's bring Heather out. Hello. Dakota, I just wanted to know, are you hiding something as to why you didn't want to come here? No, I'm not hiding nothing. And Shelby, as far as you, if something did happen, I sort of got a <laughs> And you too. Did you observe or witness Dakota hit or strike your two-year-old daughter causing any marks or bruises? And you say yes. Yes. Okay. Do you know for sure if Dakota has ever physically caused any injuries to your daughter? You answer no. Are you protecting Dakota because you know he has caused injuries to your daughter? You answer no. The result for those three questions came back all the same, and it came back that you told the truth. Okay. 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 Not Did you at any time notice any bruises or marks on your daughter's body that the doctor pointed out prior to bringing or picking her up from the babysitter? You answered no. Did you ever hit or strike your two-year-old daughter causing the marks or bruises that CPS and doctors observed? You answered no. Did you know for sure who caused the bruises and injuries to your two-year-old daughter? You answered no. Did you physically cause the injuries to your daughter's rib? You answered no. Are you the person responsible for causing the injuries found by the doctors to your two-year-old daughter? You answered no. Results came back all the same, and it came back that Shelby told the truth. All right, Dakota, you came here, you took a lie detector test. Same thing, we broke yours up into two different parts, knowledge and then abuse of the child. We asked you, did you ever observe a witness shall be hit or strike your two-year-old daughter causing any marks or bruises? You answered no. Do you know for sure if Shelby has ever physically caused any injuries to your daughter which led to her fractured rib? You answered no. Are you protecting Shelby because you know that she has caused the injuries to your two-year-old daughter. You answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Dakota told the truth. Good job, good job. Did you at any time notice any bruises or marks on your daughter that the doctor observed prior to picking or bringing your daughter up from the babysitter? You answered no, you told the truth. Did you ever hit or strike your two-year-old daughter causing marks or bruises? You answered no, and you did not tell the truth, and you kind of conferred that. Uh, did, you, did you leave marks or bruises on your two-year-old daughter? On her hand daughter? before, yeah, and yeah. then even the dude who was but giving me But did you notice test. it and say, I probably shouldn't be hitting her that hard? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, and it was never like, like a hard, like nothing Yeah, like but it's that. easy to bruise a two-year-old child. It absolutely is, yes. Okay. You shouldn't do that anymore. Absolutely. Okay. Do you know for sure who caused the bruises to your two-year-old daughter? You answered no. Did you physically cause the injuries to your daughter's rib? You answered no. Are you the person responsible for causing the injuries found by the doctors on your two-year-old daughter? You answered no, and to those questions, all came back the same, and it came back that you told the truth. Um, well, I apologize for saying anything about so You know, hopefully the police and CPS do their job quickly. 
And I would say this. I hope that you'll keep us updated on what goes on with the case. We'd yeah. certainly like to I know will. where you yep. get your daughter back. I would also like to know what's happening with the investigation into the babysitter. Yeah. And at babysitter. some point, if you I want to bring her on here. I would, lo would love oh, yeah. to give her a lie to them. Yeah, I would love yeah, it. For sure. so, um, listen. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you cleared your name, and we wish you all luck in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you.